Hi everybody, my name is Aurora and uh, I have a website called Armed Heart and for those who know me I'm going to launch right into the uh, subject of today and for those who don't know me um, please find the on my channel Armed Heart the video so that you can get familiar with the information that I'm busy that I discuss uh, in terms of the heart. Today is a bit of a strange day because um, I've been picking up and connecting with thoughts that have been concerned, that have drawn me to the concerns of the self and to actually get to know who you are through all of the changes that we're going through, whether it's hyperspace or hyperdimensional shifting or um, the everyday experiences that we can, that we go through. And I found that once you have entered a point of awareness of witnessing your experience around you as an observer, you then come to the point where you will start to analyze every aspect of what you have done, of your achievements, of who you are and what you can relate to and what you can't relate to anymore. And for this day and age that we are entering in or that we have entered in already, I have connected particularly in a in a uh, intuitive manner as well as a remote manner and I have uh, the following to share with you of the self. Um, there is something that I would like to read to you just to explain what I'm going to be discussing particularly and hopefully this gives you a sense of of direction into which I'm going towards. And it's from an article written by Sartre, uh, and it's about ex existentialism. And I want to read this little excerpt for you. Existentialism, its first move is to make every man aware of what he is and to make the full re responsibility of his existence rest on him. And when we say that a man is responsible for himself, we do not only mean that he is responsible for his own individuality, but that he is responsible for all men. And when we say that man chooses his own self, we mean that every one of us does likewise. But we also mean by that, that in making this choice, he also chooses all men. In fact, in creating the man, that we want to be, there is not a single one of our acts which does not at the same time create an image of man as we think he ought to be. To choose to be this or that is to affirm at the same time the value of what we choose because we can never choose evil. We always choose the good and it is Nothing can be good for us without being good for all. That's a very loaded little excerpt there, but I hope that this explains the matter or the material of the subject that we're busy discussing right now in terms of the self and what you choose to observe of yourself. It must be made note, uh, uh, noted in your mind that when you look at yourself as a as an infinite conscious being or as a being that is relating to the experiences that you are simply observing yourself for what you can relate to there is a point that you need to reach or that you are already reaching perhaps right now, where you are seeing that you are all things and that all things are relating to you. 
whereas all things are observing you as you are observing everything around you. What I'm saying is the internal view of you is reflected outward for you to see and experience as the view of how you see yourself. So in much simpler terms, how you see yourself and how you feel about yourself has to do with what you will or, or are experiencing. Granted that there are aspects that at times are completely out of key or out of sync or out of the norm or the, the standard that you're used to, your norm, I'm speaking about the things that you are familiar with. When you become more familiar with yourself, you will start to become familiar with how your reactions are keyed into your external environment. And also, in that way, you will become familiar with your internal environment. Internal environment is the place of sacrifice or the mountain where there are normally three crosses. And I'm bringing that as a left, uh, as something from the lateral point of view to explain to you that the place where crucifixion takes place is within. You choose to not crucify your will. But if you do crucify your will, you will have the cross over your third eye. In other words, you close that part off. And there is a part in the Bible where there's a mention about the three crosses that were on the mountain, and the one was the murderer, and the other one was the 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 one that made a fool, uh, the fool, as well as then the Jesus archetype within within the middle, and that is your pineal gland or your third eye connecting to your pineal at the back. So, and what your insight is telling you, you override by what you're seeing and experiencing around you, and so you crucify this particular energy or this frequency, the insight. There are, let's put it to one side and let me just discuss this a little further for you. Right now, we are facing an opportunity which is being granted to everyone because we're in a stationary position, in a, in a sense of stationary position, where we are having to decide who we want to be or what we want to be or how we approach ourselves. Because everything that we are experiencing on this planet is related to the self and the, the expression of the self externalized as an expression. We get the experiences coming at us through the people that are around us as well. When, when I say get, I'm, I should rather say we learn from this experience by also experiencing it ourselves. Now, um, in this way, we'll be able to relate to what we would like to have take place for us going forward, going further. We choose now. We are now entering into a space which I would call, in my opinion, the choice, the, the, the door or the nexus point of choice. And choice was actually what we had in in mind or, or that we had in the beginning when we came here as opposed to free will free will is on the planet choice was to accept to be part of the will power or the will that is on the planet and the will that is on the planet is one out of free will in other words free to do whatever you want to do as long as you are maintaining the laws of this universe or this verse that we are existing in. And these laws that are related to this verse has to do with 
the basic principles of existence and allowing certain things to take place. It is also coincidentally, and perhaps not coincidentally, there are no coincidences, uh, how the fallen child of the 8,500 8, uh, minority controllers are handling things they know it by off by heart. They they know how everything works. So it's up to you to decide how you would like to uh, approach your life. If you can take control of your life in how you experience things, in other words, how do you choose to experience a traumatic event? or an event that might make you feel like you're traumatized. You can choose by reacting to it in a hurted, hurt or wounded manner, and then therefore setting off the frequency of woundedness so that it can replay itself back to you to experience that, or you can choose to observe and go through the motions without cutting your heart off. That is a tricky one because we tend to become aloof if we do that and uh, we tend to shut down that very center point that is the one compass or the one cardinal point that we must use to direct ourselves. I am just throwing all these, in, the, these thoughts and ideas out to you for you to think about specifically today or tonight or when you go to sleep right now or if you're already sleeping to take note and be aware of how you react and respond to things around you and how to clear your reaction or your response to things that you are experiencing if you would like to experience pleasure, success, happiness, health, wealth, the list is endless, whatever it is that you want to experience or you want to learn to feel that, then I would recommend that you work on how, do you, how you feel towards yourself because how you feel towards yourself will determine how the universe or this verse reflects to you. Aside from that, we are in the throes or the waves of the event horizon and we are going through many ups and downs where we're trying to find ourselves, then clearing off the little shadow particles that we're stuck in and then going up into a high peak again and then feeling completely lost again, going up and down and going up and down. But what you need to be aware of is, is that you are just going through the sine waves of creation as it is right now. So you are going up and down and up and down, but you need to flow. If you flow with it, if you're flowing with it in the sense of allowing yourself to go through the processes without fighting yourself, then you will be able to go through it much more um, in a much more stable um, sense. I'd like to share this with you. I hope this makes uh, sense in some way. Um, thoughts are welcome. Uh, take care and have a very beautiful day or evening today tonight and look after yourselves. Much love.